then. Okay, so right here we have a sentence from earlier, so not part of our current arc, probably like book one, I mean chapter one. Do you know what Saki means? Saki, just now. Yep, earlier, just now. Perfect. Just, ha just a while ago. Hi. So something very similar to Saki is the word moto, which means origin. And instead, moto is used to say... um. Basically, also like the original um, thing. Um, can you read this word for me? Okay. Hobby nomu. To fly in. Yep. A lot of times this can also be used to jump into something or just to like to rush through things. Um, okay. Jump into. So let's go read the line from the book. はい、部屋を突き切り元の音の木らい元の木らい部屋へ来らい元の木らい部屋へ飛び込むそう突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り突き切り
Because whenever he snuck through, he opened the lock. Oh, okay. So he's doing the opposite. Cock it. So he's so once again, he makes this lock locked. He locks the lock. I see. So he locks he, it again. He keys the lock. <laughs> um, do you keys remember how lock. to read this guy? Te ka. Perfect. Te ka. Meaning minions. Minion. This word right here. Any guess how to read this one? Chika meaning yep. the underground. Yep. The subway. Yeah, probably could be used for that. In this case, might be I more like a seller. Tokyo... Chika. A seller? But yeah. It also it... mean like a Tokyo subway. Like it it subway. just means underground, right? Chi is earth. Right. And ka is under. So anything underground gets chika added to it. Um. Chika. Do you know how to read this guy? Underground. Okiteru. Okiteru. Do you know Meaning what that something means? Something happened. Something yeah. Oki. Something happens. Perfect. Um, this word an event, meant underground. An yep. This event. Do you remember what it started with? Chi. Yep. Chika. No, chi. Chika. Can you read this sentence for me? Yashiki. Yashiki no chika ni otoko wa ita. Um, the underground of the mansions. Uh, at the underground of the mansion, there's a man. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. There was, there was a man. Hi. Um, higure no kimi. No, hey, shiki no chika de nanika ga okite iru. Hi, so this does have ya in there, but it's ya. not pronounced as ya in this context. This means um mansion, but like as in the estate grounds. Remember what this so word was? Pronounced as um, zoku, zoku shiki. It is uh, Yashiki. How did you pronounce I I know it was yashiki. wrong when you read it earlier because I would have ever been like, what the heck is that? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I don't remember what so you said. So it's still Ya from. Yeah, it is still Ya. Yeah. It's still Ya from here, Ya. I don't know. I like, I felt, I swore you I... said it wrong. I don't know what you said here. <laughs> but it's like, it sounded weird. <laughs> uh, my memory is switched He's mumbling. Yashiki. Perfect. He's, he's mumbling his mouth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about um, that. Do you know what sozo uh, so means? Do. Sozo mm -hmm. meaning uh, um, an appearance. Good the guess. Form Actually, of is imagination. Imagination. Hi. What did it start with? It ended with zol, like a statue or an elephant. So. Hi. So. Yep. So. Can you read this for me? Nanika ga okita ka? No, it's okotta ka. Hai, okotta. Sozo de, sozo de kinai. Nanika. Nanika ga. Something happened. Okotta ka. Something, perhaps something happened. Mm hmm. Uh, is that ka modifying the sozo de? The ka is extremely important here. So yeah, I guess it's modifying the sozo. The most important thing when you were translating this is starting with the verb, right? Which was sozo. But I guess in English, we probably cannot would add imagine. like, yep. I cannot imagine. I think we'd add what here in English? What? Like or if if something happened or what exactly some type of thing happened. Whether or not something happened, I can't imagine it. So so dicky night. Uh so kind of a weird sentence. I probably should have said Whether Naniga. or not it happened. Whether or not it happened, I can't even imagine kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. It. Can't imagine whether or not it happened. Hey. Um, do you know how to read this word? Z 
Sagioba. Perfect. Sagioba. So Sagioba is a workshop. Sagioba, it's like a factory. Um, this word started with so. Do you know what it ended with? So. Perfect. Can you read this for me? So, so, ga, tsuku. Hi. So, dekiru and tsuku can basically mean the same thing with sozo, because tsuku is to attach. So, sozo ga tsuku means you can't imagine, basically. You're able to attach imagination to some kind of concept. So, uh, both work. Um, okay. Do you know what the negative form of tsuku is, which is to attach? Um, tsukanai. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Moshikashitara. Hi, do you have any idea what this might mean? Moshikashitara? If, if you do something, hmm. Moshika? Yeah, kind of. If, but so, there's it's, a it's, first if, yeah. and then there's another if. You're right. It's, it's, that is correct. It is normally translated into English as um, if that is true interestingly enough so if that did happen is a perfectly good way of thinking about it if that did happen so if if that happened Hi. so kamoshirenai is a word that means perhaps do you know a way we could shorten it you can delete a lot of words from this kamo yep kamo Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Sagioba no yoni mieta ga moshikashitara sozo mo sukanai yona koto o shite iru no kamo. I saw. Uh, something I saw. Sagioba. I saw what seems like a workshop. However, Moshi Moshi Kashitara Sozo Mo. Even, even if even imagining it. Uh, even it's, if, yeah, it's if like, that was like it's true, quite possible, or or like. It's like another perhaps, basically. Or perhaps. Mm -hmm. We've got two perhapses here. Perhaps my imagination. Uh, tsukanai yo na koto. Um, uh, shite iru no kamo. Perhaps. Shite iru no kamo. Perhaps that. Perhaps shite iru happen. Perhaps it perhaps it happened that such a thing was imaginable, right? Tsukanai. The koto yo na tsukanai. Oh, it's tsukanai? unimaginable. So so so. So perhaps it's it, quite possible perhaps. that it might be something that's going on. The thing that's going on is something that I couldn't even imagine. It's basically what he's saying. It's like okay. Okay, some kind of workshop I, has to be bad. I have no idea how bad. Can't, I might not even be able to imagine it. You know what takaramu means? <laughs> but it smells bad. So takaramu is um. I think this kanji have the kanji for stop and then the kanji for ito on top. I'm not sure how much that would help. Takaramu. Garamu, I'm guessing like um, something to do with, with working in a factory. Good guess. It actually means um to scheme. Scheme. But anybody who's in charge of a factory, it's scheming something. I mean, <laughs> that's what it is. Takaramu. Garamu. Can you read this for me? Garamu. Uh, higure no kimi wa takuran de iru. The Lord of Twilight 
is takurande deiru. He's takuran. Mm -hmm. He's very large. Takuran? Very takuran. What is takurama? Takurama. So takurama is a uh, uber. verb. What does takurama mean? To scheme, yeah. How do we put to scheme into te form? Takurande. Yep, takurande. So what is the saying? Higuna kimi wa takurande iru. Scheming. Yep, the man of twilight. Scheming. Takurande iru. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Zetsutai. Zetai. So the su is a little bit smaller. See, it's a little, little bit smaller than everybody. It's tiny. Zetai. Zetai. Which is like Def definitely. Zetai. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so let's go read the line. You read a lot. Higure no kimi to ano makshiro na kami no majitsu shi wa zettai nani ka takurande iru. The Lord of Twilight. Um, um and that white hair um that grizzle mm, not grizzled in this case grizzle hair magician. this is just white white hair magician so ma with some Hi. word right here means completely so nobody he's grizzled white he has hair. gray hair this magician he has white hair so he oh. might be a little bit older than nobody I, he's a different magician. Okay. So the Lord of Twilight and that white hair magician, Zetai ni, definitely. Nanika kurande iru. They are scheming something. Perfect. Now we're doing a little kanji check. How do you read this guy? Let's see. <clears throat> Is Yashiki. Yep, Yashiki. Perfect. How about this guy? The estate. This guy. Chika. Perfect. Underground. Can you read this for me? Tsukitomeru. Perfect. So tsukitomeru is to determine something. And I'm going to go backwards and make you read this word. Dorobo wa. Oops. Takurande. Uh, page is being slow. I went back to the kanji page. Sozo mo. Yep, sozo. Perfect. Uh, now I want you to read this page. Dorobo wa takuranda koto o tsuki tometa. The, um, the scheming, um, the thief determined tsuki tometa. The thief determined the um, this, that which was scheming. Yep, perfect. Uh, um, can you read this for me? So he did. He discovered the the so, plan so. basically. The he discovered the, it. The thing that was scheming. Yeah. Sore ga nan na no ka tsukito mete yaru. That. Nan na no ka. Nan na no ka is no what ka on earth, meaning... basically. What exactly Wait. that could be. Nan na no ka. What on, what on earth, uh, what on earth determine, what on earth determining it, it, it happening? Mm. What on, uh, so he wants to do, tsukitome, su, tsukitome te is... to do, so he wants to determine sore. So we can know now. Let's no, 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 determine no. what on earth is going on. Yep, exactly. What on earth he's doing? What exactly that that it is that is going on? He wants to determine it. Because he's in a soul saku, he's an inquisitive boy. Do you know how to read this for me? Showman. Showman. Mm -hmm. 
Genka. Perfect. The front entrance. It's the front um reception. So so. Hear this for me? Demo Imawa Shomen Tenga ni Modora Nai to Demo Imawa however right now Shomen Tenga ni Modora Nai to Modora Modoru is to return. Modora na is did not return. Not return to the uh, front reception. Do you know what to oh. does when we add to with and a negative with form a of verb? Modora na to. You must not do it. Good. That's a really uh, good guess. Words, you must do it. So what's going on? Yes, it says you must do it. Theoretically, it could be the opposite, but you. But that's not traditional. So, if you want to do the opposite, you would probably continue and have another sentence here, <laughs> like "mororanai to uh, unga yokatta" or something like that. Like, disgusting sentence. Okane ga morao. Something like that. You'd have to continue it, but when it's been dropped off like that. So this is the same as in English. We said, if I don't return to the front entrance, that's going to insinuate something bad happens, right? If I said, I, if I don't return to the front entrance, I... then I'll get money. Then suddenly it can have the positive meaning. But without the positive being stuck to here, the automatic assumption is something bad's going to happen. I... Um, can you tell me what you think? If I don't return means? now, so hi. So no ro, just o. So tori. Tori. Tori nukeru is to um to, to escape through. Yep. To pass us through. To go through, to escape through. Perfect. What is the passive form of miru? Passive form of miru. And last time we say it was mie, mie. So, um, right? yes, mieru is a passive mireru. form of verb mireru. of miru. This is kind of its own verb. It is to see. Passive actually means that someone who is not the subject is doing the verb. So I think I did call this passive when we saw some miru, but it's the um non-intent version or tr transitive tra those are the big words i can't remember it's the one without any intention <laughs> nobody decided to miru, miru so passive form is actually a form of conjugation so, what do you think it would be a form of conjugation it, mm -hmm. it must take the te form mm, i would say it pro it takes a no. form that's closer to causative so or it's potential. gonna be mirare. Mirare. Hi, mirare. Mirare. Perfect. I messed up this thing last time. I well, I got last time I had the word potential. potential. Yeah, and then we did passive. <laughs> the the confusing thing is is that with miru, which is a new verb, passive form and potential form are identical. So miraredu is both passive and it is also potential form. So in our in our defense, they are identical for do verbs. But last time we were looking at an u verb where they're different. <laughs> Which, do, do, do. Hey, so the ru verb is the same. Mirare. Yep. Um, can you read this for me? Tsuki tsuki. Perfect. Tsuki tsuki. One after another. Next, is next. Means. Next and next. What is the te form of tori nukeru? Tsugitsu. Tori nukeru. Nukeru. It's a root verb again. Mm -hmm. So tori nuka ke nukareru. That would be. Oh, the tail form. I'm, I'm, 
the, this is the third one. Uh, so Tori, look yeah. at that. Yeah, Tori, look at that. Tori, look at that. Um, can you read this word for me? Chisan wa nani mo tsukikazu without noticing. Yep. So this is pronounced as ki kizukazu kizukazu without noticing. Kiz kizu kazu. Yep. Can you read this for me? Tsuki tsuki to doa o tori nuketa. Step by step, I passes through the door. So I'd be don don. This is tuki tuki. How many doors do you think you went through? Uh, I went through one door after another. Exactly. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this word right here? Uh, Suzugani. Not su. So, it's she. Zu. No. Shizu. Shizu. What does shizuka mean? Shizuka ni. Shizuka ni natta. Shizuka meaning a quiet, a, 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 a um, tranquil place. Mm, like a, not really. Like a countryside. So, um, she, no. well, shizuka is a adjective, specifically a not adjective that can be used to describe a place, like a quiet countryside place, would definitely be, I believe, shizuka na. Unless it's like Fourth of July, and then we got fireworks, and it's no longer shizukana. Um, but yeah, it it does have that quiet meaning, but it's it's an adjective. It doesn't mean quiet place. Uh, for example, right over here, it's saying it became quiet, right? Less than it became a quiet place. Um, could you read this for me? Hi. Hiki. Hiki kosu. Quiet. Hikikaisu. Right, so hikikaisu is apparently to, to retrace one's return. yeah to retrace one's footsteps. <laughs> so interesting. I would not have guessed that by the kanji. Um, do you know how to read this guy? Um, roka. Hiroka. Roka was correct. Roka. Like a uh, like a wide um hmm, doesn't really a, have a the hallway. kanji for wide there. Yeah, it's a hallway. Um, can you read this for me? Shomen Genkai ni hiki kaesta. I find my way back to the front reception. Yes. Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. Dare ni mo mirare nai yo ni kyo tsuke nagara tsuki tsuki to shizuka ni doa o tori nukete roka ni modori genkan horu ni hiki kaeshita. Hi. You know what kyo tsukeru means? Meaning to come to realize. You would that's a kizukeru. Kiyotsukeru is acting a little bit different. And I should have made a page a card for this one. So kiyotsukeru is to be careful. Kiyotsukeru, be careful. Okay. So let's say dare mo ni dare ni mo. Mirera nai yoni um kiyotsuke nara nagara meaning while while I was being careful as as to um as to not be seen by anyone. Perfect. So that not to be seen by anyone. Yep. Uh, you did mention that this yoni ha in this context are similar to uh tsumori. For the yeah, purpose of. For the purpose of. Yep. Um, tsuki tsuki to shizuka ni doa o tori nukete. I go through 
door after uh, one door, one quiet door after another. Um, in this case, Shizuka ni is not modifying a door. That'd be Shizuka na doa. Ni is a marker for describing what do you think? The tori nukete. Hi, hi. Verb. It's an so adverb I, marker. I quietly hi. I go quiet, through doors one after another. Quietly go through door after door, one after another. Hi. Roka ni modori. I return back to the hallway. And Genkan Horu ni at the Genkan, at the hall of the Genkan, Iki Hanashita. I retrace my step back towards the hall of the Genkan. Perfect. Okay. Um. No kanji check needed here. Do you know how this guy ends? It starts with Sai, and it means like final or the last. Sai go. Yep. Go. Last. Okay. Can you read this for me? Sai go no. Se no. Takai kurai. Do o suru. Suru rito. Tori nuketara. Um. Koko no. Horu ni wa. Ne. Benetto shika inakata. Uh, if tara tara is when when it when I means. tori nuke I when I passes through uh doa suru tori. Uh, um, sururi is kind of smoothly doing an action. Suru. Sururito, I smoothly, when I was smoothly going through the door. Oh, which door? That was black, tall, and seno takai. Black, tall, and was the last. The Hi. last black, tall door. So when I smoothly went through the last Oko black, no... tall door. Hi. Hoko no horu ni wa at the hall of, of uh, hoko. The hall of that direction. Um, Veneto shikana, shikanai, shika inakata, meaning Venet shika. Um, and we say shika was like the exception. Yeah. So except for Venet, there was no one there. So, so, so the only person there was Venet. Yep. Why do you think we have Muko here? Muko is modifying horu. So opposite from him? Yeah, it's the opposite of the main character. Across so in other words, in front of him. So basically, when the main character exits the first door, across from the hall, but as in across from him, because main character's in the hall now. So face, so in other words, Khan directly faces Benetto. Sees Benetto, in other words. We make eye contact. <laughs> and there's no one else in the hall. Um, Hi. Do you know how to read this guy? Um, kiro, kiro akari suru. Kuro bikari. Kiro bikari suru. And then guess what kuro bikari, ka, kuro bikari means? Dark light? Yeah. Specifically, it's used to being like a black um what? luster of an item. So this would be like a black car made out of a metal, and you know how shiny those things can be? Even though it's black, it's still giving off light. So it's some kind of reflective kind of material. It's a kurobukiri. So it's not actually shining out blackness, but light any kind reflect. of... Reflect. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Can you read this sentence for me? Higure no kimi no teka wa hitori mo inai. The servant of the twilight lord. Hitori mo inai. There's also no one. There's also no one. There's not, There's not a not single. A, might be how you might translate that. 
Yeah, there's not a single minions of the of the Twilight Lord. Perfect. And this is a word you've struggled with in the past. You know to read that. This word is the um, tatami. Mm, not tatami. tatami. You've made that like same almost, mistake before. Like tatami floor, has like yes, the yuka. It does mean floor. Yuka. Perfect. What is the kino yuka? Kino yuka. The floor, the wooden floor. Perfect. The wooden, oops, the wooden floor. Like a dojo. Hi, hi, hi. Like a dojo is a wooded floor. Yep. And can you read this for me? Neko no yo ni to. Oh, oh so it starts over here. Ah. Hi. Kuro, kuro bikari. Kuro bikari suru shiki no ishi. yu o. Ishi no yuka o. Ne neko no yo ni oto o tate zuni susunda. So I susunda. I continue towards um the the se the the tatezu tatezu soundless right no sound yes. the sound was not mm -hmm. not like coming. A what? Not being so so no sound. It's no sound ni yo ni like a cat. Hi. So I continue, I continue without a sound I like can... a cat. Across what? On. Mm -hmm. Across or on the floor of stone that was black lustered. Perfect. The black so, lustered. Stone. In other words, we got a black stone floor, but it's been nice and polished. Um, okay. Right. So I'm going to stop the recording real fast.